may remember a while ago in a video I was talking about revamping my website um, because honestly my first one was kind of like a rush job and I didn't like it very much and I just kind of left it to shrivel up and die by itself with no updates because I just I didn't want to have to deal with it because I hated it and I knew that I would be revamping it at some point anyway. So I got a trial for Squarespace, this was like last year at some point. Everyone raves about Squarespace so I was like yeah cool let's do it and I started making a whole new website there, I spent a lot of time on it, uh, my trial ran out before I'd finished it so I was like okay uh, when I'm ready I'll pay for it, I'll resume my creation and everything will be fine. Um, everything was not fine. <laughs> turns out that basically if you don't use your Squarespace for like a certain amount of time or you don't have a subscription or something like that, uh, they just delete everything you made. All your drafts, all your progress, gone. Everything I'd written, lost in the abyss of the internet. <laughs> so that kind of put me down a lot on the whole website thing and I was just like, oh, I have to start again. And like, I was just like, I don't even want to think about it for a few months. So I just left it. <laughs> again so I just made the decision to stick with Wix for now because it's easy and you don't lose your progress it saves everything and you don't have to pay to make a website and I, obviously I already had a website but I just figured it was the easiest thing to do at the moment so I did a big old overhaul similar to the style that I was going for on Squarespace I have a domain finally I'm a professional guys um, <laughs> But that Squarespace thing really set me back. I didn't know how long it was gonna take me to get my website sorted anyway, but that did not help. We are finally done. My Wix website is back up and running. It's a place that I actually enjoy being now and I am keen to keep it updated. And I'm only mentioning this here because at the time where I said I was gonna like redo it, some people seemed quite keen to see what it was gonna look like. So if you still wanna know, and you're still watching from whenever that video was posted, like last year at some point. Uh, the website's done if you want to have a little gander. The link's always in my description, or you can go to justanotherada.com. Um, there's still a few projects that I need to get up on there, but I haven't fully decided like in which way I'm gonna go about that yet, like showcasing the work, so I need to figure that out. But there's time, we've got time, we'll get there. But I just wanted to say that. Uh, I finished that like a few months ago now, so that's tick off the list. <laughs> My list that just apparently keeps growing and it takes me like months to tick stuff off um <laughs> but that's one thing uh but anyway right now i picked up a little set of two pink a6 photo frames in poundland all places a few months ago it was a while ago i just thought they were cute i'm always one to grab a picture frame just in case I can like revamp it or use it later or I get a new print and I don't have a frame I just go to my like little collection. Currently I have two A6 postcards which I would really like to keep safe for now but still look at so I'm just gonna bring their lives together and they can be a happy family. The postcards are from Tropical Spaghetti whose work I just love. I think that one is from an order I made and another one is from like a care type package that Cami had made me. But I just wanted to keep them safer since they were just blue tacked on my wall which is not ideal. It's that time in the video where we say a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring basically my whole channel. <laughs> Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like you and I where we can go to gather knowledge and inspiration and have a swell time doing it. You can take classes on a huge range of topics. I usually go there to take classes on things like photography, client work stuff, photoshop, illustration and like a lot of the time sketchbook related classes. These days I've gotten into the not so great habit of picking up my iPad instead of my sketchbook when I'm feeling like I want to doodle but I'm aware that it's so important to have the connection of like the pen to paper and also the permanence of it if you're not using pencil obviously it's just so easy to just delete a sketch that you don't like and you'll never see it again but in a sketchbook like the remnants are always kind of going to be there and honestly thanks to Skillshare I've been picking up my sketchbook a lot more and just feeling more inspired to use it which has been helping me out immensely when it comes to like ideas for the past year or so I've really struggled with 
coming up with concepts, ideas. Like I legit have no idea what it is that I actually want to draw. I just know that I want to draw and it's quite frustrating. But obviously the more you draw and doodle, the more chance you have at whipping out something that you might like and want to take further into an illustration or into a product for your shop or something like that. So it's so beneficial and I've just been slacking so hard. But yeah, sketchbooks, who knew? <laughs> who knew? You may be able to hear the rain in the background. Um, there could be worse background noises, to be honest. So I've taken all of Skillshare's Staff Pick sketchbook classes and a few more. And this month I decided to revisit Always Drawing, Seven Creative Exercises to Jumpstart Your Sketchbook by Mike Lowry. I'm still struggling concept-wise. I'm doing better but ideas just don't come to me like they used to. I have to sit and doodle for like ages to get something out that I like, which is very annoying. I just thought that doing a prompt exercise would be quite fun, a bit different. Um, I love a good prompt because it tells you what to draw. So I think we're gonna do one or two of these today, depending on the time and the light, um, but we'll see how we get on. But before that, I should probably tell you that you can also take this class uh, for free if you want by using the link in my description box. You will also receive unlimited access to tens of thousands of additional classes so you can check out a couple other classes if you fancy it. Another really good sketchbook one is Drawing is Important, Develop a Sketchbook Habit in 30 Days by Tom Froze. I love his style, he's very insightful as well and inspiring. So thank you so much to Skillshare once again for sponsoring another video and for allowing me to get creative in new and interesting ways. Love that. So I've got my laptop here. So back to my class that I'm revisiting. Here on the right are the different exercises that he does in this class, but since I think I want to revisit this in the future and do all of the exercises, we're just going to start at number one, which is Blob Monsters. A classic. I've seen so many people do this. I think I've only ever done this once. It didn't go very well. I didn't like it, so I never did it again. But we're going to do it today. Let's see how it goes and then see if we have time for any more. Wish me luck. Hair is up, jump is on. Let's draw. So I think I'm going to use a black pen, which if you know me, black isn't really my colour, but I've been kind of into it lately. First I'm just going to test how this works on top of Posca pens and if it works terribly, I will use alcohol markers. So I'm kind of cheating, but I'm literally just going to do circles on a scrap page and see how this works on top. That was very successful. These are my colours of choice and I'm just going to start with a page and see how I feel. interesting so started off pretty weak um didn't end super strong either but i mean it's just it's just a little exercise isn't it and i did draw one thing which i think is quite cute this dude down here in the right corner is pretty cute i will say and then i also quite like the orange dude and the pink cat which looks like a pokemon <laughs> this green one i don't even know what that is i hate that <laughs> i tried to make it better by adding more and this dog is looking a little suspicious in in the head area <laughs> and i don't really have time to do another exercise right now because i need to edit this video and feed the cats and it's about to go dark anyway um that was fun this is my baby this is ziggy she's tiny she's already born in march weren't you april she was born in april you're just a baby still, aren't you? We called her Ziggy because she's got the little flash on her face. She does not want to be hugged right now. But yeah, this was fun. And um, I will see you in another part of the video. Peace.
Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I am on my phone, obviously. Just wanted to do a quick little clip. Um, I'm about to head out to a couple of my fave secondhand furniture shops to look for some new bits for my bedroom because it needs a bit of a spruce. And I'll try and film as much as I can. It's been so long. You've been so tough. You kept it up. You've kept me up. Been standing tall. Keeping strong. Which is about 20 minutes away from where I live ish. We were just at Kennet KFR, which is a second hand furniture shop near me. It's like a big warehouse, it's really cool. Didn't find anything quite right, um, but we're gonna continue looking. Fingers crossed. If not, I hope I can at least get some Christmas presents. Brilliant. Just me. <laughs> So, different day, but I just wanted to talk a bit about the trip that I've just been on. I had a lovely day out with my mum. We always like to go and just have like a little wander around the towns around us, see what we can find. Do a bit of Christmas shopping, that kind of thing. So about a month ago, I saw this picture on Facebook and immediately I was like, right, <laughs> I need this in my bedroom. <laughs> I've been wanting to like revamp my bedroom for a while anyway because it's just like not very functional anymore and I spend a lot of time in there that's where the sun is in the morning that's where it's the warmest the coziest and honestly I'm not a big fan of working at a desk unless I'm like packing orders or I'm filming something um, I'm usually drawing on my bed or somewhere comfortable where I'm leaning back <laughs> so I thought it would be really good for me to have a small drawing area in there where I could film as well as be comfortable and still have the light from the daytime sun. So basically I was on the hunt for like a small coffee table or a table that I could cut the legs off and make it shorter, some floor cushions, a big old mirror, maybe some new curtains and just some light little bits. I think I put in a clip of a table that was like kind of what I was looking for but it was just too wide, it wouldn't fit in the spot that I have in mind. So I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> I do think it was kind of a good thing since I don't think I'm gonna have the time, energy or money to do it before Christmas anyway. So the fact that I don't have said table or any big stuff for the switch around yet means that I'm not like too eager to do it and I can take my time. <laughs> but I did end up buying that shelf that I filmed a clip of and it is here behind me. <laughs> I always go out for something and come back with something I don't need. I didn't need this. I don't really have anywhere to put it, which is right here right now, but I just thought it looked so useful. It's like one of those book shelves for like kids, you know. I don't really have anywhere to store like my canvases or my sketchbooks and things like that. And I was like, this looks useful for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm also currently in the process of revamping some of my old work so that I can sell it because I just have so much of it and it's taking over my house. <laughs> I just need to get rid of some of it. So I'm giving some old works a bit of fresh paint, a bit of a tidy up and some kind of finishing spray so that I can sell them in the future. I don't know when. <laughs> um, speaking of selling stuff, my shop. I have ideas 
I'm not going to have time to do it before Christmas now. Um, so I'm hoping to reopen my shop in the new year. Maybe not January. I don't know when. I don't know when. I'll post on Instagram about it when it happens. I don't have any set plans right now. But I am working on like some new stickers and things. Just to have something uh, new in the shop. Instead of year old stickers. Which I still have to list. Because as you know it's been kind of a year for me. And I haven't had my shop open all year which has been so weird, honestly. Um, but I am really looking forward to getting back into it. I'm just struggling with how I should go about it because I've got like a whole bunch of things that I need to list, but I don't think I can package them together. Like say my A3 prints that are in a tube and an original, I don't know how I would ship those like together. Um, so that's something I need to figure out. I was thinking I could just do like an originals update separately, but then what if someone wants something else and then they have to pay like extra shipping? I don't know what to do <laughs> about anything right now. I'm still just figuring it out in my head, but I am excited to make some new stickers and I'm hopeful a new sticker sheet, which will be fun. But like I said, that's a way off yet, a few months at least. I don't, I still don't know. <laughs> Those are all my future plans. Bedroom, shop, maybe in here, because I need to find somewhere for this bad boy. Uh, yeah, so, Merry Christmas. Got ready, check, plants, watered, check. Go to town, get lunch. Next one. We've been to town, we've got lunch. I'm too scared to pick the camera up. <laughs> 